This is in the book of James 5. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, not sin, sins, they shall not, they shall be forgiven him. Look how they parallel sickness to sin. I'm not judging nobody. I don't do that. But I said that so you can examine yourself. Because sometimes we get sick because we did wrong. Did somebody wrong. Y'all ain't saying that. And if he is sick, the Lord shall raise him up. And if he has committed sin, so there in your sickness, God wants you to examine yourself to see if there's any sin that you need to be forgiven of. Sometimes we do things unknowingly. Who am I talking to? Sometimes we do things knowingly. But it's good to check yourselves first. And if you find fault where you did wrong, see y'all don't want to hear this kind of preaching because y'all think y'all so right. And if you find that you have done something wrong, the best thing for you to do is to repent. Y'all don't like that word, huh? I'm going to say it again anyhow. Repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. I'm right in the Bible. Y'all don't like that word, huh? Repent. See, because folks like to do wrong and like to slide on by. But see, it's good when you know you did wrong and you own up to it. David said, I am the man. He acknowledged, y'all don't like this, his wrongdoing. And therefore, God can have mercy. So it's good when you, I'm going to make it, I'm going to kind of smooth it over a little bit. So when you do wrong, and you know you did wrong, repent. And watch this, sometimes we lay on our bed sick, afflicted, and God is telling us why you there. Because you did this person wrong, you did that, you didn't repent, you did this and did that and this, this and you did that and this, this and that. You didn't say sorry and you didn't repent. So I'm gonna let you lay here on your bed of affliction, sick, until you get it right. Ain't nobody shouting right now. <laughs> Y'all know what kind of preacher I am. But, but, but I'm saying that so you can examine yourself. Don't ever be too big where you can check yourself. And when you check yourself and you found out, discover what you did wrong. What's the key word? Repent. Jesus is telling them, go and sin no more. More. When he healed them, that's what he used to say. So I'm trying to show you how sin is connected to sickness in some degree. Doesn't mean you did a bad, bad sin or what a sin. All sin is sin in my side. Sin is sin, but they're connected. You did something. Something happened. Okay, I'm finished with that one. Let's go here. I'm gonna make y'all happy right now. Y'all don't wanna hear this one. Y'all don't wanna hear that. But y'all don't feel good. Y'all don't feel good. Right Everybody sat down on that one. I don't care. <laughs> y'all wanna hear all this glamorous stuff? No, I'm gonna give you a little bit of glamorous. I'm gonna give y'all the hard word. I'm gonna give y'all. I'm gonna do that. So watch this. Texas. Is they on you? Do that right now. Exodus <laughs> chapter 15, <laughs> verse 26. We're gonna skate through this one. Let me make let me let me bandage up some wounds right now because y'all trying to pass too hard. He ain't had to say that one to us. You ain't have to say that. So anyhow, 26. 
basics and said, if you're there, if it, God will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Stop right there. That's number one. Go ahead and pencil that. Put a number one. Put a letter five. Whatever you want to do, that's number one. If thou will hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord, that means you're listening to him, and you're tuned, you're inclined to him. Keep reading. That's number one. And will do that which is right in his sight. Stop right there. Number two. And do what is right in his sight, in God's sight. Are you all following me? Keep reading. And will give ear to his commandments. Stop right there. And will give ear to his commandments. That's number three. Go ahead and read the last one. And keep all his statutes. And keep all of his statutes. So all those four things. You have to do. Amen. Okay? See, you already missed that. That's why I took it slow and I say number them because I want you to see there's some things we have to do to get and to keep this healing. Watch this. To get and to watch this. Keep sickness that does not belong to us in the first off of us because it says right here verse 26 and said if that means you have a choice you need to make a decision if all my ELA teachers that's a conjunction you know what I mean? if you do these four things and if you do these four things what does God say he will do for you if you do these four things? Read. I will put none of these diseases. I will put none of these diseases. Watch this. Keep reading. For which I have. Uh -oh. You missed you miss something. None of these diseases upon thee which I have brought upon the Egyptian. So we see right there the sickness didn't belong to this set of folks, but it belonged to this set of folks because God put it on the Egyptians. Who was God talking to? He was talking to the Israelites, his people. We all ain't with me today. Preacher, what you trying to say to us? Because it's going over our heads right now. I'm trying to let you know the sickness does not belong to you in the first place. But you ended up getting it because you didn't keep those four things God said to keep. And now the sickness that belongs to the Egyptians has got a hold of some of us, has laid You know why you're not dead yet? 
because it doesn't belong to you anyhow. And God 